Hello everybody and welcome to this month, month's drill of the month. And I <coughs> pluralize month because uh, it, this is going to serve for May and June. I know that I'm extremely late on Mays <coughs> and since this is sort of two drills in one, I'm going to use this for the rest of May and all of June. It's been so windy out here uh, in the desert that all month long, I've, I've, this is the third time I've tried to make this video. Uh, you know, in three weeks and it just isn't working out for me. <laughs> so what this drill is, is this one handed shooting, both your strong hand and your off hand or your weak hand. And that's sort of why I'm given a month and a half for this. So you guys can work really well with both hands. Now shooting one handed is not like in the movies. It's actually a fairly difficult thing to do, especially if you don't practice it all the time. Uh, but it is something that I think everybody needs in their toolbox. Uh, you know, for self-defense and uh, uh, you know those sort of applications that may uh, that that may save your life. Now, before we get to live fire stuff, I want to talk about body mechanics, which is something that I am going to make another video about, covering a lot of different things. But I want to talk about the body mechanics of shooting one-handed. Now, in the past, I've been trained and taught a few different ways, and what I'm going to tell you today is the way that has best suited me and that has best suited other people that I have instructed over the years. Now this first part is something that you can do in your home uh, because it is going to be empty with an empty gun and so what I want you to do is I want you to, to, to while you're you know fit this into your normal uh, everyday dry fire practice stand there and kind of let your arms go limp right just let your arms go limp, forget about shooting, forget about what you're gonna do, forget about one-handed shooting, all that stuff, and take the, take the arm that you're going to be shooting with and raise it. Just raise it sort of limp. Okay, you see this angle that my hand is at? That is my natural body mechanics, right? And it just happens to be the same for roughly both sides. That is my natural body mechanics. And so when I shoot one-handed, I tend to cant my gun a little bit like this. Now, some people may be straight, some people may be more crooked, you know, in, in different degrees. I've seen just about every imaginable rotation there over the years of training people, and it seems to work out well. Now, once you've identified your natural position for your hand, once you've identified that, I want you to start doing dry fire practices. Draw that pistol, bring it out, and you see I'm still at that same degree, that same cant. Get a good sight picture on something on your wall, something you're using as a target, and squeeze. And try to hold that sight picture. Now do this multiple times. Get used to the feeling of just having your gun in your one hand. Now when switching hands, I would like to see you do it in this fashion here. See how I have it pointed at the ground and I'm kind of, I'm, I'm, I'm connecting with my index finger on the frame and switching hands. What this does is it, it decreases the likelihood. If you're, you know, switching hands like this or like this, right? If you're switching hands like that, during that switch, you're, you're more likely to accidentally get your finger caught up in the trigger and have an accidental discharge and that's not good for anyone. So now you've identified your body mechanics, your natural body mechanics, your natural hand positioning. You've done the practice, the dry fire practice, getting used to just having it in one hand and pulling that trigger. Now head to the range and let's do some live fire. So I'm at 21 feet and we're gonna get some live fire stuff in here. Heat it up. Relax. And then switch hands.
Now mitigate the recoil the same way you would normally do if you're shooting two-handed. You know, keep locked up here in your wrist and to bounce that sight picture back, right back into place and you should be doing pretty good. Now don't let malfunctions, uh, don't let malfunctions uh, frustrate you, don't let misses frustrate you. If you've never done this or if, you've, if you're not well practiced at this, uh, limp wristing is a thing. It happens all the time for people that are just starting to, starting to do this. Missing is a thing. Uh, it, it happens all the time for people that are just starting to do this. And it even happens all the time for people that do this all the time. Don't let anybody lie to you about that. I miss all the time. People miss, it's okay. That's the point in practicing. That's the point in getting the training and practicing what you've been trained. So, use this. Use this one-handed shooting, both strong hand and weak hand, or primary and secondary, however, however it is you tell yourself your two different hands are. And... Uh, Use this for the rest of May, all of June, and we will see you in July.